Hi guys, it's Draws Mikhail here, welcoming you back to another episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2. In this episode, we will be playing the map Camino. It, 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 I'm not doing the mods much anymore, because there's not a, much to do. I might do another one. Ooh, uh, it's the Uber uh, Harun Call. Is it, is it Harun Call? I don't know. But we're just gonna start with the Confederacy, cause long live the Confederacy! And I always spawn at this point, so I always know what to go what goes down. You always have to look out for the turrets, cause everyone just goes on them like they're the best thing. But their their head is popping out. Oh shit! Oh man, do I love super battle droids? They're one of the most OP things ever. They have rockets. Seriously. That I just had one point, and it wasn't even a good point. Uh. <laughs> oh, well. That's classic me. Can't expect me to remember anything or even go on what I was talking about. So, we're just gonna do over the shoulder just to annoy everyone and confuse them. Annoy and, and confuse. Oh, I'm already annoyed and confused. It's a new record. Hmm. So, uh... I, I haven't been doing much today, so I just decided to do this, because this isn't doing much, honestly. And I, as I said, I kick ass at this game, so no, there's no reason for me to die except that I died f through over-awesomeness. That's my new term. Uh, this is a good point. You just get to snipe everybody with your regular sniper gun and if you see someone going towards somewhere it's always toward a turret uh, this place is good because you can crouch down in its cover well well they got one shot on me and they you don't even get the frenzy bonus because you're a droid isn't that bull you know, I can't wait until the day where I can just spawn with, uh, with what? What, what, what would I spawn with? I'm trying to think. Uh, never mind. Where I could just spawn with all the best gear. So if, uh, being a droidica, the best class of all time. And three, insta-kill. Insta-kill. Uh, I guess we're gonna be Django Fett because the f playing heroes with blasters is always fun, and he has a semi-automatic pistol, and that's very power. I I don't need to elaborate at all because I'm just gonna talk about the game, and that's it. So we just shot that guy in the face, shot that guy in the back of the head, shot that guy in the face. See, my strategy has already blown its cover. It's just there. Guard your faceplates with something more resistant to blasters. Why, why do they even wear those? They, they have no protection whatsoever. They're just there for show. Just to show whose side are they on. That's just so confusing. Why? Just why would you do this? Well, this... Ugh, look, I can kill them with one shot to the head, or three shots to the torso. A normal person would die under those circumstances. They might even survive four. I, I'm, what I'm getting at here is their armor is bloody useless. Ugh. You know what I hate? Oversaturation. You see, G Boba Fett in, like, the original movies was kick-ass, except for Return of the Jedi, which he dies so soon. That was a very strategic st time bomb. See? Strategic. Um, and... His armor was cool, and then we realize, oh, it's Django, whoopee! He has the same armor. He must have got it from his dad. Which he did because uh, I read a book once. Not only once, but once. Oh man, I have to bring a book tomorrow. No, that, was, that was a completely different topic. 
then we realize it's a Mandalorian armor. All the Mandalorians have it. And we got introduced to the Mandalorian Wars, which were an actual thing. I don't know how. I just don't know. I'm just gonna let the Droidica cap the point. Because I can't figure out how to get around. Um, and all of them wore armor. And all of them had badass voices. I forgot about that part, the badass voices part. It's just, ah, uh, I've gotten tired of the Mandalorian armor. And now we have, like, the, uh, Death Watch and Clone Wars. Everyone just wears Mandalorian armor. It's not even fair. I don't even care for Boba Fett anymore, because I've gotten so used to the concept of Mandalorian armor. I mean, it's that bad. I mean... If you had, like, a candy bar, and it was the best candy bar you ever had, and you, it was the first time you've had that candy bar. This is a terrible analogy, all right off the bat. Um, and then you're like, mmm, 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 this is a good candy bar. And then you eat another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And after 17, you get have a fatal heart attack and die. But if you didn't have a fatal heart attack and die, speaking of death, you would have... Uh, we're gonna be an assassin. Uh, I'm trying to think now. What was I on? Uh, I'm on no drugs right now. So that's a good thing, I think. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, uh, and then you just get tired of it, and you'd never want to eat it again. And isn't this... A, the, the assassin slash sniper is a good class, because you can just no-scope people. And it does the same damage. Ah. Uh, so. Ah. Uh. <laughs> they don't have a chance. And that's it. That's oversaturation. Or if a sponge gets so filled with water, it can't hold any more. That, that's actually what saturation is. Exactly. When in doubt, shoot them in the face. I'm making that a new motto. That's my new motto. When in doubt, shoot them in the face. And if you st stuck out this far listening to me just ramble on, I applaud you. I'm going to give you 50 cents. I don't know how, but if I don't, that's okay. Because I don't lose 50 cents. And if you got, like... If you know who I am, I'll probably get you that 50 cents. Isn't that fun? How will I prove that you know that? Uh, you, you'll just know. Yeah. While we're ending- while we're in, nearing the end of the match over here... Ah. Uh, I'd just like to say, I need to up the difficulty of this AI. It's just so... Terrible. And I just noticed... This will be my 98th video. And yes, I'll have a 99th video, spectacular, whatever. I'm, no, not 99th, 100th. And I'm no noticing I'm nearing 25 subscribers. And if those things collide, fuck, oh, victory. Then victory! I'm serious, man. That's perfect. Perfect.